and welcome to the inaugural function of the 24th Hornbill Festival 2023. Our chief host, the Honorable Governor Nagaland, will preside over this evening along with our host, Sri Nipu Rio, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, and co-host, Sri Temjan Imna Along, Honorable Minister, Tourism and Higher Education. A Christian majority state where Christianity permeates every aspect of Naga life, no event begins without beseeching the blessings of our almighty God. The Bishop of Kohima, the most reverend Dr. James Topil, will offer the invocation prayer to consecrate this function and the ensuing 10 days of festivities. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, our loving Father, creator and source of all that we have and we are, you created us in your own image and likeness and made us your children and gave us the ability to share in your creative power. Using that creative power, we have embellished your creation by shaping different cultures and traditions. You have enabled us to create good and beautiful things through the various artifacts and songs that expresses it, our traditions and languages. Today, we gather here in this arena to celebrate our cultural diversity in unity. We are different, yet we are one. Lord, make us accept and appreciate our rich cultural diversity and yet promote our unity. Words of blessing from our elders have always been considered auspicious since the time of our ancestors. This evening, we invite Sri Monte Chupa, chief of Kugeguo village and a revered leader of the Puchuri people to pronounce the traditional blessing. Anyazo kachiwa avuwa manashe mavi mavi na nakari hompiraha maha akuku sagetse nosu atoto kamiheru kuchua kena akuku kapa pavna nakari nyimzari nyimpari vizari Ralari, Kazakena, Aku Kuburu Pebena, Kamiwa Salu, Te, Nikazakena, Zinavena, Kamiwa Salu, Te in a pocket of it, Te, Nosa, Nakariva, Alabu Tatina, Hiri, Kati, Sim Munawana, Tamaku Kubur, Nikazakena, Akichi Savena, Department of Ever, Kamihewa, Kasale, Avawa, Hinika Savena, Tina, Nosa, Hina, Pochuri, Kachiwa, Amato, Sata Tina, Mihete, Tis Satsavena, Manashe. The Hornbill Festival is the brainchild of Sri Nipu Rio, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland. Under his visionary leadership, it has grown into the Festival of Festivals, India's largest and a global phenomenon, bringing about cultural revival, economic prosperity, and lasting friendships with visitors from all over the world. We now invite the man responsible for this mega event and our festival host to deliver his welcome address. A warm greetings to all of you. It is with immense pride and joy that I stand before you today to extend a heartfelt welcome to the 24th edition of the Hornbill Festival, a culture phenomenon that encapsulates the spirit of Nagaland, the Hornbill Festival. Nagaland, a cultural mosaic, 
waving by the rich tapestry of diverse multi-ethnic tribes emerges as a true land of festival. Each community in this vibrant state celebrates its unique festivals, creating a harmonious blend of tradition. A Hornbill festival is a culmination of Nagaland's tourism slogan, Land of Festivals, and it is built as a festival of festivals. All tribes and sub-tribes of the Naga people celebrate and commemorate, commemorate dozens of festivals throughout the year, all which culminates here. This event epitomizes the unity and diversity and oneness of the Naga people. It celebrates the Naga way of life. Set against the breathtaking backdrop of the Naga Heritage Village in Kisama, the festival brings together all the tribes and sub-tribes of Nagaland, local communities, NGOs, and the government. Nestled at the foothill below the towering Mount Zafa, this village serves as a symbolic representation of Nagaland map. Each tribe, morongs, and hearts is adorned with immaculate replicas of tribal huntsmen carving on wood and log drums. The aim is clear, to revive, protect, and preserve the richness and uniqueness of the Naga heritage. For visitors, the Hornbill Festival offers more than just a visual spectacle. It provides a closer understanding of the people, offering a ringside view of this elusive land, its inhabitants, and its culture. Over the years, this festival has transcended its initial vision, becoming a national and international sensation. Today, it stands as a most visited attraction on the travel itineraries of both domestic and international travelers. The Hornbill Festival in the past has played host to renowned dignitaries, the cultural troops from various Asian countries, including Thailand, Japan, Myanmar, Korea, Europe, and beyond. This global participation has turned this cultural celebration into a melting pot of diverse traditions, fostering a beautiful exchange of ideas, arts, and heritage. This year, the Hornbill Festival 2023 promises to be a global showcase of cultural richness and diplomatic collaboration, as we are honored to welcome the United States of America, Germany, and Colombia as our prominent partner countries. We are also happy to welcome the state of Assam as the partner state. I'm thrilled to announce that the Hornbill Festival 2023 will host music bands and culture ambassadors from America, Germany, Colombia, South Korea, and from all over the countries, more than eight 800 musicians from all over the world will per perform at the renowned Hornbill Music Festival. I'm optimistic that this partnership with different countries will pave the way for enhanced collaboration and mutual benefit in the years to come. Adding to the participation of the United States in a number of events, the international flavor continues as the renowned German rock band ELM3 is set to grace the Hornwell Music Festival. The Goethe Institute Max Miller Bhavan Calcutta will contribute to our film segments and showcasing notable German films production, providing a cinematic journey into 
Germany culture. Moreover, a Germany business delegation will engage in a roundtable to discussion with investment and development with the Development Authority of Nagaland, opening doors for economics and development partnership. Similarly, we are happy to host cultural music and official delegations from the beautiful country of Colombia and as one of our country partners. We thank all of you for your trust in us and for making the festival even more vibrant and meaningful. I'm sure the experience this year will be much more memorable because of your presence and participations. As we sound the gong for another great Hornbill Festival, I invite each and every one of you to join us in this cultural extravaganza. Let us come together to celebrate the richness of our tradition and the spirit of unity that transcends borders through this festival. We aim not only to showcase the beauty of Nagaland, but also to build bridges that connect us with the world. I express my gratitude to our esteemed partners, and I am confident that this collaboration will strengthen ties, foster great understanding, and create lasting memories. Let us make the 24th Hornbill Festival a testament to the power of culture exchange and international camaraderie. I once again welcome each one of you to the Hornbill Festival, the festival of festivals. Have a wonderful Naga experience. Thank you. God bless. Kuk Nalim Jahin. Without guests, there can be no festival. In this land of festivals, hospitality is a way of life, and our custom to select items holding profound, sentimental, and cultural meaning for gifting. Today, we continue this cherished tradition. As your names are called, we request our esteemed guests to rise and receive tokens of our high regard and our gratitude from our host, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, assisted by our co-host, Honorable Minister, Tourism and Higher Education. His Excellency, Mr. Eric Garcetti, Ambassador of the USA to India. is being presented with headgear adorned with boar tusks worn by Chung, Yimchungur, Kyamnyungan warriors, a cognac necklace whose brass head symbolizes a head taken in battle, a spear and dao common to all Nagas that symbolizes bravery and resourcefulness. We now invite His Excellency, Mr. Alex Ellis, British High Commissioner to India. His Excellency is being presented with headgear of cognac warriors adorned with boar tusks, a cognac necklace whose brass head symbolizes a head taken in battle, a spear and dao common to all Nagas that symbolizes bravery and resourcefulness in war, hunting, and agriculture.
We will now felicitate His Excellency Dr. Victor Echeverry Ambassador of Colombia to India. His Excellency is being presented with headgear adorned with boar tusks worn by warriors of the Eastern Naga tribes, a cognac brass head necklace that now symbolizes an exceptional achievement, a Naga spear and dao used for war, hunting, and protection. We now invite German Consul General Kolkata, Ms. Barbara Voss, to be felicitated. Consul General Voss is being draped with a contemporary Angami cloth. And gifted a traditional Naga carry basket filled with organic Naga produce of dry fruits, honey, jam, and our famed Naga King Chili. We now invite the chief host of the 24th Hornbill Festival 2023 to present the festival message. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Governor of Nagaland. Sri <clears throat> Nefurio. Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland and the host of Hornbill Festival, Sri Timjan Yimna Along, Honorable Minister for Tourism and co host of the Hornbill Festival, Honored Guest, Mr. Eric Garcetti, Ambassador of USA to India. Mr. Alex Ellis, British Commissioner of India, Dr. Victor Echeveri Jaramillo, Ambassador of Colombia to India, Ms. Barbara Voss, German Consul General Kolkata, Most Reverend Dr. James Topil, or Honorable Bishop of Kohima, Tribal guest Sri Monte Chupa, chief of this village, Kuke Woga, distinguished dignitaries and guests from far and near, officials from civil, military, and central agencies, participants, and my dear sisters and brothers. Good evening. Namaste and hearty welcome to each and every one of you gathered here from across the globe at the picturesque village of Kisama for the renowned Hornbill Festival 2023 edition. As the chief host and on behalf of the vibrant state of Nagaland, 
I'm immensely honored to open the gates to an enchanting world where culture dances through a tapestry of time and tradition embraces modernity with grace. It is a celebration that not only showcases the rich mix of our Naga heritage, but also embodies the spirit of unity and diversity. The festival is more than just a showcase of our rich culture. It is our open invitation to the world, welcoming all to immerse themselves in the warm embrace of Naga hospitality, to witness the warriors dance, to hear the ancient folk songs resonate, and to gaze upon the intricate views of our traditional attire. The Hornbill Festival is not just a celebration, it is a testament to the enduring spirit of our people and their deep-rooted traditions. In the splendor of Nagaland, affectionately known as the land of festivals, we are gathered to inaugurate an event that transcends the boundaries of mere festivity and enters the realm of cultural exuberance. The Hornbill Festival is not just a convergence of various artistic expressions. It is a testament to the living traditions and memories of our people, kept alive through the pulsating beats of long drums, the lyrical tunes of folk singers, and the intricate footwork of our dancers. To our guests from across India and from distant lands abroad, I welcome you to our unique cultural landscape of Nagaland. Let the soulful symphonies of our folk four enchant you. Let the bold flavors of our cuisine delight you. And let the unbroken bond of our communities inspire you. May the festival be a bridge that connects you to the heartbeats of our community, to the hospitality of our homes, and to the myths and legends that dance in the mountain air. Ladies and gentlemen, with the warmth of Naga hospitality and the echoes of our ancestors blessing us, let us commence this Hanbil festival with the hearts full of hope and spirits ready to sow. Enjoy the festivity, partake in the traditions, and carry a piece of Naga land in your heart for ever. Have a wonderful time. Thank you. Jai Hind. Festivals are occasions to start and strengthen friendships. The atmosphere of song, dance, and merriment lends itself to peaceful dialogue that begins when the wise among us share their thoughts. We will now give time to our honored guests to present their greetings to the Naga people. To begin, please welcome His Excellency, Mr. Eric Garcetti, Ambassador of the USA to India. Good evening, Nagaland. And good evening, Hornbill Festival. I am filled with joy in my heart, seeing all of you would that we were a mirror and you could see your own beauty reflected. And I want to thank the Honorable Governor and, of course, my dear friend, Brother Chief Minister. Thank you for the vision that you had, Chief Minister, to create this and to bring this not just to Nagaland, not just to India, but to the world. I bring greetings from the United States of America with due respect and love for all 16 tribes that are represented here, in the United States of America, I bring the greetings of 574 native tribes of America. And we will be performing some of those tribesmen and women with native pride 
the band that will be performing here has great honor to connect our tribes with your tribes. At a moment in this world of too much division and war, we see unity and peace. When we see too much ugliness, all we have to do is open our eyes and come to Nagaland to see the beauty of humanity, to see that many are indeed one. And I close with a greeting from my tribe, my great-grandmother, who was a native of the hills of Mexico, and her tribe was the Tarahumara, great barefoot runners who could run faster than anyone through the hills of northern Mexico. And our greeting in Tarahumara is Kiura Ba, Kiura Ba, which means, of course, hello, but it also means we are one. So thank you to my fellow Americans who are here as tourists. Bring more Americans to Nagaland. Spend those dollars here. We love you. Thank you. And Kiura Ba. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, Mr. Alex Ellis, British High Commissioner to India. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Special thanks to the Naga people for receiving me this evening, for receiving all of us. Thank you very much, Honorable Governor, Honorable Chief Minister, Minister, Most Reverend, Sir, fellow colleagues, it is an absolute joy to be the British High Commissioner here this evening in this wonderful spectacle. And I, I can only repeat the words of Eric Garcetti to thank Chief Minister. What a great idea to have the Hornbill Festival, a fantastic thing. Um, I am delighted to be here. I hope there are one or two British tourists here this evening as well. I hope they too are spending their pounds sterling. Uh, in support of this great state and this great event this evening. It is also congratulations to you, 60 years today of Naga statehood. Congratulations to Nagaland for your 60 years. And it is an honor to be here, particularly coming from the United Kingdom. My country, my countrymen, and you, Nagaland and the Nagas, are so closely intertwined. We have lived together. We have fought together. We have fought against each other as well. And you are the most brave people. Witness to that by every British soldier and what they said about the extraordinary bravery of the Naga people, especially during some terrible times during the Second World War, and what bravery you showed, which is commemorated here in Kohima. But today is not about fighting. It's about dancing. Is it about dancing? Will there be singing? I'm going to get, leave, leave you with one little secret. Eric Garcetti, the American ambassador, and I sing in the same choir. And he's a very good singer. And we'll find out later, is he a good dancer? Thank you so much for having me here. It's a great honor. Thank you. We will now hear from His Excellency, Dr. Victor Echeverri, Ambassador of Colombia to India. Thank you very much and good evening, Nagaland and everyone. I am so happy to be here. Former ambassadors from the US and the British commissioner said everything. First of all, I want to join, of course, to express my thankfulness for this warm welcome organized by the government of Nagaland and the people of Nagaland. But I have to bring a message from you from Colombia. Yes, we are bringing from Colombia through the Atlantic and then the Indo-Pacific a showcase of the Colombian music with tribal or local instruments with the rolling runners. Yes, we are doing that, and we know that you will enjoy it so much. But profoundly from my heart, I will tell you that when we were coming up to the mountain, to this beautiful place, 
the clean air and the blue sky that is so cherished for us living in Delhi during these days remind me my town in Colombia. In Colombia, we have 50 million people and 10% of the population is indigenous tribes also with their traditions. But why I am so heartfelt to be here tonight? Because our country have to learn from you about coexistence and Pacific coexistence. You made this experiment. This is the 24th edition of the festival. And you join together 17 tribes, wonderful, colorful, rich in traditions, tribes, as a show that you can live together in harmony. And that's something that we must learn in Colombia. We are thriving and we are trying to get peace. And I know that we can learn from so much from you. When I get back to Colombia, I will bring in my heart a piece of your culture, a piece of Nagaland, and a piece of every heart of you, every Pacific heart from you to Colombia. And I will promote this beautiful land as a destination for Colombians and in South America too. Thank you very much for inviting me. Our last guest to address the public today is Ms. Barbara Voss, German Council General, Kolkata. So, good evening, Nagaland. I mean, you should stand here where I do and see what I see. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm lost of words, I mean, to describe how beautiful it is here. And um, honorable um, governor and honorable chief minister, it's, um, thank you so much for inviting us and making us feel at home here right from the first uh, moment when we set foot into Nagaland. Um, and we, we are like here already like for two days and, and we visited some of your villages, some beekeeping we saw and um, as well like uh, heard about all the different tribes here and um, I only arrived in Kolkata three months ago and um, despite this short time here I, um, I appreciate already like the rich cultural heritage and, and the different um, cultures that we have here and here I think it's especially interesting to see all the different tribes living together and uh, I think indeed that's um, really a, an example for um, other parts of the world. And uh, as it was mentioned already, we're really glad to have a German band here tonight. And uh, they are very excited, and we too. And I hope you will like them. It's a German rock band. And we've heard already that you're all rock music lovers. And um, so we are glad to be here at the Festival of Festival, India's biggest um, music festival, um, with, with so many people here. And um, we wish you a, a great uh, festival. And you didn't come to listen to us, but uh, to hear the music, to celebrate, and to see everybody dancing and singing. So enjoy, and thank you very much. The co-host of this year's Hornbill Festival needs no introduction. A polyglot proficient in over four languages, a social media sensation, a rising star in national politics, and leading the vanguard of the next generation of Naga leaders, please welcome Honorable Minister Tourism and Higher Education Nagaland, Sri Temjan Imna Along, to deliver the vote of thanks. Good evening to all of you. First of all, I thank Almighty God for this 24th edition of the Hornbill Festival, 
the Festival of Festivals on its first day, that is our Nagaland Statehood Day. Honorable dignitaries, esteemed guests, cherished participants, ladies and gentlemen, on this joyous occasion and on behalf of the Hornbill Festival Organizing Committee, we are deeply grateful to respected Most Reverend Dr. James Topil, Bishop of Kohima, for his inspiring invocation prayer that set the tone for the Hornbill Festival inaugural program. Sri Monte Chupa, Chief of Kukiwego Village, for bestowing us with traditional blessings which have connected us to the rich cultural roots of the Hornbill Festival and a sense of heritage to this momentous occasion. A heartfelt thank you to our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Nephew Ryoji, for his warm welcome address, your leadership and commitment to the cultural and traditional heritage of Nagaland is truly commendable and visionary. Honorable Governor of Nagaland, Sri La Ganeshanji, for gracing us with the festival message. Your words have resonated with the spirit of the Hornbill Festival, and we are honored by your presence at this significant event. Special appreciation goes to our esteemed international guest, His Excellency, Mr. Eric Garcetti, Ambassador of the United States of America to India, His Excellency, Mr. Alex Ellis, British High Commissioner to India, His Excellency, Dr. Victor Archivereti Jarmilo, Ambassador of Colombia to India, and Ms. Barbara Voss, German Consul General, Kolkata. Your esteemed presence has made the inaugural program of the Hornbill Festival truly memorable by adding an international flavor to our celebration. Symbolizing the cultural exchange that the Hornbill Festival embodies, thank you for being a bridge between nations and contributing to the global essence of our festival. We look forward to continued collaboration and cultural exchange in the days ahead. A special note of gratitude also goes to our esteemed sponsors who have played a pivotal role in making this event the spectacular gathering we are witnessing today. Your support and collaboration have transformed the Hornbill Festival into a global celebration of diversity unity, and cultural exchange. Lastly, I also extend our heartfelt thanks to each and every visitor and tourist who has graced us with their presence on this momentous occasion. Marking the 24th edition of the Hornbill Festival and to everyone who contributed to making this inaugural program a resounding success. Warm regards, Kok Nalim and Jai Hind. Ladies and gentlemen, our festival chief host, along with our festival host, will now sound the festival gong to signal the opening of the 24th Hornbill Festival 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, with the sounding of the gong, our inaugural function comes to an end and the Hornbill Festival 2023 now officially begins. Who have traveled all the way from Ukha village in Mongpong, 
Hong Kong range of Mon District, home of the legendary Konyak people. Ranging from ages 14 to seven years, these boys hail from a long line of men who have beaten log drums in many villages across the mountains of Nagaland. Log drums were central to village life, holding sacred and practical value. It was sounded to signal emergencies and catastrophes, to warn of approaching enemies, call for village meetings, to welcome heroes from battle or during festival celebrations with a unique rhythm for each purpose. The beat that will now be sounded by the drummers of Ukha is known as Kammai, made when victorious warriors return with enemy heads for trophies. The heads are placed above the log drum as warriors surround the log drum and beat the kame sound. Along with different beating rhythms, other kinds of knowledge were passed on through the tradition of the chan or dormitory. While hunting of heads has long ceased in Naga areas, these rhythms call the youth to bring home modern day accolades. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for the Uka cultural troupe.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Ukha Cultural Troupe. The arena is now open to the public. The public can now enter the arena in front of the stage. In the majestic mountains of the Naga people, when time was young, a Konyak legend tells of a young girl or hornbill mother whose nest with four eggs was damaged by a thunderstorm. From the two eggs that survived was born a male and female. Ever since, hornbills nested in enclosed spaces inside hollows of tall trees or rock faces. When the hornbill lays her egg, she sheds her wings and tail and encloses herself her young. Unable to fly, she depends on her mate to bring food until mother and young are able to fly out of their self-confinement. This model of trust, altruism, and codependence, outmatching even our own, is one of the many reasons why the hornbill is a sacred bird for the Nagas. As the male hornbill soared through the skies to court, then nurture his beloved, and with her glide with their young over forest canopy, the melodious calls of the hornbill allowed their human brethren to synchronize their rhythms of life. Seasons of hunting and gathering, seasons of sowing and reaping, seasons of war and peace, seasons of austerity. And tonight, it is the call of the hornbill that announces the season of festivals. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present the call of the hornbill.
Naga, Naga, look at this. Look at all these tourists and visitors flocking to Nagaland from every region and even far off countries. Oh, Naga, our home has become an awe inspiring place to the rest of the world. Yes, definitely. This rich heritage is greatly infused with various seasonal festivals. We have dance, art, music, and delicious cuisines. Have you experienced all these festivals, Nagala? Now that I think about it, I haven't. But you're right. In fact, Nagaland is the land of festivals. Our generations preserve their tribe's identity through festivals. Our arts, crafts, cuisines, our dances, all tell stories about our way of life. Are you aware, Naga, how each tribe has its own slice of paradise region here? But Naga, tell me, when was the last time we explored and rediscovered our own state? Yes, you're absolutely correct. We are living in scenic beauty and we have barely discovered our land. Okay, how about this? Let's go on an adventure across Nagaland and let's discover her gems and heritage. Wow, that's actually a great idea. But first, why don't we visit your grandfather and discover our homeland through his ancestral stories? That sounds great. Let's go.
my Nagaland. My dear grandchildren, I am delighted that you want to explore our state. Grandfather, we want to learn more about our culture, traditions, and paradise regions. Human learning at this era is at the peak of advanced technology. No matter how much the world or society progresses, identity is very important. If we lose our identity, we lose ourselves. Where we come from is equally as important as where we are going. Grandfather, your wisdom will guide our journey to discover Nagaland. Please, tell us more about our ancestral history and land. Oh, those were the days. was the way of life in the time of our ancestors. They were fierce warriors and headhunters until the coming of Christianity in our soil. Christianity is the greatest transition that took place in the history of the Nagas.
Nagaland is stunning. Oh, 
Nagalin had such rich flora and fauna. <laughs> this is truly unbelievable.
Lambix Haramati takes my breath away. What a majestic beauty. Yes, God created a truly stunning land in Nagaland. This is paradise on earth. Nagaland is God's own country. We are so blessed.
Nagala, what is this unique tune? Naga, don't you know? This is one of our traditional instruments. It's called Tati. these fields, sowing and reaping, just to sustain themselves. Yes, agriculture has been integral to Naga life for generations. The seasons of planting and harvest shaped our culture. Yes, our festivals too, they originated from the agricultural cycle. We celebrated fertility, we honored the earth and gave thanks for abundance. Our festivals unite the community and teach younger generations the lessons of love, sharing, and belonging. Oh, 
Gentlemen, that was Call of the Hornbill. 